between chronic endometritis, CE, and submucosal fibroids, SMF. Number one, nature of the condition. Chronic endometritis. This is an inflammatory condition of the endometrium. The lining of the uterus is chronically irritated, often due to infection or retained tissue. It is not a structural lesion. Submucosal fibroids, these are benign tumors arising from the smooth muscle of the uterus, myometrium, that protrude into the uterine cavity. They are structural growths, not an inflammatory process. Etiology cause. CE caused by persistent infection, e.g. chlamydia trachomatis, mycoplasma TB, retained products of conception after miscarriage or delivery, or a foreign body like an IUD. SMF, hormone-dependent mainly stimulated by estrogen and progesterone. Genetic factors also contribute. Infection does not cause fibroids. 3. Histology, microscopic appearance. CE, characterized by the presence of plasma cells in the endometrial stroma. Plasma cells are key for diagnosis, often not visible on routine histology without special staining. SMF shows interlacing bundles of smooth muscle cells with fibrous connective tissue. No inflammatory cells are typically present unless secondary degeneration occurs. 4. Inflammation. CE, inflammation is central. The endometrial tissue is infiltrated by immune cells, plasma cells, lymphocytes. SMF, no inherent inflammation. Fibroids are non-inflammatory growths. Inflammation may appear only if there is degeneration or infection. 5. Symptoms. Bleeding pattern. Typically causes spotting or intermenstrual bleeding, irregular cycles, or postcoital bleeding due to the fragile, inflamed endometrium. Causes heavy or prolonged menstrual bleeding, menorrhagia, because the fibroid distorts the endometrium and increases surface area, sometimes causing anemia. 6. Symptoms. Pain. CE, usually mild pelvic discomfort. Many women are asymptomatic. Pain is often nonspecific. SMF can cause pressure-related pelvic pain, backache, or discomfort due to the mass effect, especially if fibroids are large. 7. Impact on fertility. CE can cause recurrent implantation failure or recurrent miscarriage. The inflamed endometrium is less receptive to embryo implantation. SMF, submucosal fibroids distort the uterine cavity, preventing proper implantation and increasing miscarriage risk. Fertility is affected more by cavity distortion than by inflammation. 8. Physical Examination CE, usually normal, uterus is soft and non-palpable, no mass is felt. May reveal a palpable uterine mass, especially if the fibroid is large, firm, and irregular. 9. Hysteroscopic Findings Hysteroscopy may show strawberry spots, micropolyps, and mucosal edema, signs of inflammation, but no solid mass. SMF, hysteroscopy reveals a bulging intracavitary mass, smooth or lobulated, clearly protruding into the uterine cavity. 10. Ultrasound imaging. See, often normal on imaging, sometimes subtle endometrial thickening or heterogeneous echo texture is seen. Well-defined hypoechoic, sometimes calcified mass projecting into the cavity. Saline infusion sonohysterography can confirm intracavitary location. 11. Onset, CE, can develop rapidly after infection or postpartum or slowly if a chronic low-grade infection persists. SMF develops gradually over months or years due to hormone-driven proliferation. 12. Age predilection, CE, most common in reproductive age women, especially postpartum, post-miscarriage, or after IUD insertion usually affects women aged 30 to 50, though can occur in younger women. Fibroids are less common after menopause due to decreased estrogen. Paw 13. Systemic symptoms. CE rarely causes systemic symptoms unless there is severe infection, fever, malaise. SMF usually no systemic symptoms unless anemia develops from heavy menstrual bleeding. 14. Treatment. CE managed with antibiotics, e.g. doxycycline, targeting causative bacteria. Resolution is usually good if treated early. SMF, managed surgically, hysteroscopic myomectomy, hysterectomy, if symptomatic or impacting fertility. Medical therapy, hormonal tranexamic acid, may temporarily reduce symptoms but does not remove fibroid. 15. Recurrence prognosis. CE can recur if the underlying infection or irritant persists, generally resolves completely with antibiotics. Can recur after surgery, especially if hormonal influence continues. Fibroids may grow over time, even after partial removal.